wasn't aware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian, although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please... What secret identity is Lisa hiding from us? This has been hinted at pretty much since the game dropped, but because we knew so little about Genshin's overarching story, the world of Tibet in general, this was a very vague cutscene, but now that we know so much more, it's interesting to look back at and I think I might have an answer as to who she is and why she's so powerful. Mondstadt characters in general seem to be very powerful lore-wise, but in terms of backstory, Lisa is the most vague character to come out of Mondstadt. We don't know much about her backstory, her upbringing, but it is obviously hinted at that she's connected to the Hexen Circle Witch's organization in some way or form. Let's go over it. First things first though, what do we know about Lisa? Well, we know that she's a witch and the librarian and a member of the Knights of Favonius. She's an exceptionally gifted and powerful witch and enjoys studying the elements. She is seen to have somewhat of a carefree, easygoing personality. This was not always the case though, she's the most gifted student to come out of the Sumeru Academy since the Crimson Witch of Flames last in Yora, but she's seen the effects that studying forbidden knowledge and how it seems to always bring hardships and headaches. So shortly after graduating, she left. It is unclear if anything else happened in this time or leading up to her currently being the Knights of Avonius librarian. Besides that, we know that she has wisdom that is unparalleled throughout the city. She always seems to know what to do whenever there's trouble in Mondstadt. It is also said that she loves drinking tea and thinks that afternoon tea is the most important part of the day. Although she is a very carefree person in general, one thing she takes very seriously that we've seen is overdue books and her duties as a librarian. This is not a coincidence though and I think this actually ties into a much bigger detail when you look into it. Now, what do we know about the Hexen Circle Witches? It's a group of powerful witches or mages which conducts research into Ermensol, all of the mysteries of the stars and of Teyvat. In one of the main cutscenes we got of the Hexen Circle, it is said that one of the places they hold meetings and tea parties is a secret island above Falcon Coast. But what of its members? Alice is the most pronounced member of the Hexen Circle who goes by the codename A. She's an elder and Klee's mother. She is known to possess the power to lift or mold entire island systems on command. Apart from having a long lifespan, some of the mages are even pervy to knowledge unknown to most beings in Teyvat, so forbidden knowledge for example. Barbara Luth, whose nickname is B, is Mona's master, addressed as the Old Hag, and is shown to have pioneered divination in Teyvat, and taking students like Mona under her wing. A very popular member is Rhine Daughter the Alchemist Gold from Conria, the creator of Albedo, Durin the Dragon, and the Rift Hounds. Nicole, with the nickname N, known as a prophet that studies Teyvat's direction and order, who actually talked to us in Fontaine's story quest. Ivanova, codenamed J. After marrying, she left the Hexen Circle. Although she kept in touch with them from time to time, she passed away centuries ago, but had a line of successors, the most recent of which is Scarlet, who we've seen in the actual cutscene. And lastly, Ander's daughter, codename M, the author of The Boar Princess and many renowned books in Teyvat. Also deceased, Ander's daughter was believed to be just a human mage. Seen as that she's deceased, she probably didn't have as long of a lifespan. She was a renowned author and taught Alice the meaning of grief. She was also known as the legend that will never end because of her very popular stories and books. And that is all of the members in a nutshell. But the one I want to focus on is Anders' daughter, aka codename M, because I think she's linked to Lisa. Now I know that Lisa directly denied having links to the Hexen Circle organization, but it wouldn't be much of a secret if she outright just said, yeah, I'm linked to them. So, how could she possibly be connected? For starters, Alice is codename A, Barbara Luth is codename B, 
Nicole's codename and Ryan's daughter's codename R, obviously you can see a bit of a pattern. So why is Anders daughter's nickname M? Why M? Well, what if her last name is Mincy? And guess whose last name is also Mincy? Lisa. Her full name is Lisa Mincy. So what if Lisa is actually the successor of Anders' daughter who is now deceased? And that is why she fiercely guards books and has appreciation for her job as a librarian. Because her successor, could even be her mother or grandmother, we don't really know, is the previous Hexen Circle member, and now Lisa is her successor in the same way that Klee, Scarlet, and Mona are all successors, or at least being groomed to be, for their own masters. I wouldn't be surprised if Anders' daughter was actually Lisa's, like, mother or grandmother, being that we don't really know anything about Lisa's past and her family. It's left incredibly vague, and like that Abyss Mage hints at her secret identity, what if she is the new member of the Hexen Circle or the successor of her former master slash mother, Anders' daughter, codename M for Mincy. And it is also funny, both of them are human witches, and it is actually said that Anders' daughter had orangish slash brown hair. Anders' daughter was the author of The Boar Princess, which is depicted as a purple book with a rose drawn on it, and Lisa is the Witch of Purple Roses. There was also a purple lantern in that cutscene representing their little tea party gathering, and who else has a purple lantern in their kit? Lisa. And the Mincy family in general is completely unknown. We've heard nothing about this last name and this family in Mondstadt. But most importantly, they are both concerned and connected with books and stories. She was a writer of tales and Lisa is a librarian, so there's a lot of connections to be made. And if she was a secret member of the Hexen Circle, like the Archons, I'm sure that the Hexen Circle members have successors. There's actually proof of this as well with Scarlet's conversation with Alice. Scarlet would go to say, Alice, you've never acknowledged any of Jay's successors. It's been centuries since the first of us took on her mantle. I've always wanted to meet you. And then Alice replied, do you also want to become a mage? Where Scarlet said, title aside, I think I'm more interested in the meaning and purpose of the Hexen Circle. I used to think that the Hexen Circle was a group of women who could control the fate of this world, but now I've seen for myself that besides Jay, many other ordinary people were also among you. Do you think less of us now? Alice replied, which Scarlet said, no, not at all. My interests have been piqued, and I'm now even more drawn towards the idea of becoming a mage. So the idea of successors already exists amongst the Hexen Circle. And then she acknowledged that Jay was not the only one that was just a regular mortal. Alice has a really long lifespan. Ryan daughter, we don't even know if she's still alive. But Scarlet's master Jay and Anders' daughter, aka M, aren't immortal or have exceptionally long lifespans. So hence, they will need a successor. And Lisa perfectly fits the bill. Her very vague, mysterious identity hinted at her obsession with books, her renowned exceptional skill at the academia, and her very strong elemental power, it all makes sense. Because like we just talked about, Lisa is one of the very few characters in Mondstadt that is exceptionally powerful lore-wise, but yet we know nothing about her origin other than that she studied at the academia. Honestly, I'm wondering if her Hex and Circle training involved her going to study at the academia and learning all that she could to be the best mage slash witch possible and she had enough foresight to leave before learning too much and all of the hardships that come with forbidden knowledge. She seemed to be so smart as to not dabble. And for her to be a secret member, to not only help safeguard the Knights of Avonius and Mondstadt in general, but probably you want somebody of your own organization to watch over Klee, which all the members of the Knights of Avonius do, including Lisa, a potential member of the Hexen Circle and the successor of M. And being that Alice has not been seen in game and is hinted to be hiding maybe from the Heavenly Principles for all the knowledge she knows, or maybe something very much related to this, it would make a lot of sense why Lisa would want this kept a secret. 
As far as members of the Knights of Avonius or in Monset knowing about this, who can really say we don't know, I doubt it, but Lisa openly denying being a part of this organization would just fit the bill too because if Alice isn't hiding right now from the Heavenly Principles or something's going on, the most common theory out there is that Alice can't really be in contact with Klee or her friends or family directly because it put them in danger. That would make keeping this secret with Lisa even more important. Everyone knows that Alice is a member, but if people don't know that Lisa is the successor of M, then she's safe to stay in Mondstadt and look after things. And that would be her secret identity that she concealed from the Abyss Mage back in 1.0. Whether this is true or not, we don't know. And that is my theory on this. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. The game deliberately teases Lisa as being this very renowned, powerful witch with a secret identity of some kind, and her backstory is almost as vague as it gets. So this made the most sense to me. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we'll get more of the Hex and Circle soon? We get little snippets here and there, but it's crazy to think that back when this game came out, they didn't even exist. Or at least they did. Alice was introduced back in 1.0. Mona's master, Barbara Luth, and all of these characters were talked about, Rhine Daughter Gold, but they weren't really established as this secret organization yet. So now that we know all that we know, it's easier to pinpoint maybe just who Lisa actually is. But on that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. Help me grow the channel. I really do appreciate you all watching this far. I hope you all are having a great start to the new year. And as always, we will see you all in the next one. Later.